Right, I kid you not, I think I'm onto a hammered. <laughs> and I'm back on land and it's been ages absolutely ages I've been meaning to get out but things just keep getting in the way and the weather it's very muggy today it's very warm but it's it's nice it's a bit cloudy so the sun's not on me fully so it's a slight help um, I've kind of been narrowed down to one field that I've never had great success in because every other field is really really high I mean waist height in grass the only other field that I've done well in, I had three hammers in, I've just been chased out by the, the one cow that my permission had. One cow, it's the one, I thought it was a bull originally. It's the one, if you remember back along, it attacked me. And it's done the exact same today. It charged at me, it was kicking, diving at me. I had to kind of run at it, chase it away to manage to back out of the field. So I've come down here, there's three horses with me today, but they've shown little interest so far. The grass is short, a bit tufty, but we'll get on and see what we can find. Right, first signal, or first decent signal anyway, I've had a piece of iron. This was a 20s. And it's one of them. Just a bit of rubbish. Looks relatively old, it's got a bit of a patina on it, but I don't think it's anything. Might be off a barrel tap, something along those lines maybe. Next one up out of the hole is a 13-14 and it's that crummy little bit of lead yep 13-14 on the knocks I'll get in the bag right got a slightly dodgy little 11-12 and that I don't know if it's a button or the top of a thimble no idea, that's an odd one. Yeah, cool. So we're not doing too great today. I've got a 15. And it's there. Very shallow. Very shallow. And it looks like cack. Like everything else has been so far. Yep. It's one of them. A bit of cack. Alright, hopefully you can hear this on my headphones. All right, we've got a pretty solid 18 there. Let's get it out and see what it is. All right, so what this 18 is, shall we? All right. It's probably one of the best signals I've had so far. I'm getting a lot of iffy signals today. A lot of iffy signals. And they are all turning out to be absolute rubbish. All right, 18. Are we actually gonna have anything? Oh, it's there, I can see something. I see dark soil. Right, I can see dark soil. It's there, it's that. Oh, and it's nonsense. Look at that, absolute nonsense. Right, we've got an 11, 12. And it's right there, I can see a tiny little ball. Teeny weeny little ball. Oh, that looks like a tomback. Oh, look at that. Oh, dear. Where's it gone? Oh, look at that. A little hexagonal one. Is it going to have the shank? These often don't. Yeah, it's probably not, is it? No, it's got half of it, but that's a nice shape. Nice shape and nice pattern. I like that. Finally something. All right, I'm having a lot of 11, 12s today. This is another one. And it looks like a piece of medieval pot. A bronze pot. Yeah, cool. Happy with that. Right, 
Hamburg had a quite nice sounding 18. Sadly, it's just another blob of lead. I don't think that was anything. It's very square, but yep, just another bit of lead for the pot. All right, and to another one, and it's a, another, yet another chunk of lead. That's very crumbly lead as well. Probably quite old that, but alas, it's destined for the scrap. All right, I'm onto a solid 16, and it's there. Is it that? No, it's not that. Oh, it is a bit of lead, though. Oh, my Lord, it's a proper lead day today. Not even anything interesting, just little useless blobs of lead. Oh, right, can you see the numbers there? 30s. I bet you a tenner this is going to be crap. Right, I'm going to dig it and see if I'm true. It's a bit jumpy, but it's in the 30s. Right, so we go at this. Relatively solid signal, to be honest, but it is, well, a little bit scratchy. But all the numbers seem to be in the 30s, so I'm just guessing it's going to be a bit of rubbish. Still 30s. Oh, sorry about the sniffing, my nose is running. Right, it's in this. In this big ball. Oh, what does that look like? Going to be a coin, possibly? Do you know, it does look like it could be a coin. Oh, it's big and round, I think. Oh, I don't know what that is. Whoa. Wow, that looks, uh, that looks very interesting. Oh, I think I'll have to give that a clean and come back, I think. Well, there it is. I'm not sure what this is. Looks very, very interesting though. Looks like maybe a big building on that side. Oh, I like that very much. Be nice if I can get a date off it and find out what it is. Nice, nice, decent, thick coin. I'd say probably Georgia Third sort of era by the look of it. Well chuffed with that. All right, I've got a 14 and it's there. Only about three or four inches deep. Well, actually, it's maybe about four or five inches. Oh, is that it? Oh. Well, what is that? Looks very old, that, and it's got a nice pattern on it. Oh, yeah. Interesting. No idea, but it looks like it's got some serious age. I like it. Right, this signal was a really weird one because it was a good signal and it was an 18, pretty much solid, but there was just a, a little grunt, little, you know, a little cut there where it was telling me there was crap in there as well. And look, massive piece of iron come up and then just off to the side of the hole, I had to dig another little bit. Look at the size of that. That looks like a massive coin. Massive. Oh, that looks absolutely ginormous. Is that a coin? Certainly looks like a coin, doesn't it? Oh, blimey. Look at the size of that. Absolutely no idea what that is. I'll give it a little clean up and come back. Right, I've cleaned it about the best I can in the field. It's got a ring in the middle and then writing around it and I can see a design. 
But look at that side. I'm sure I've dug something like this before. And it's like Portuguese or something like that. And it's from the 1700s. But I'm not 100% sure on this. But it's absolutely massive. Huge. That is really cool. I like that a lot. Really like that. Oh, I've obviously hit a good patch now because right down deep there, it's about six inches deep or more, down there, this was hitting 20, is a coin. No, it's not. I'm lying. It's a button. Oh, but it's a pretty one, look. All is forgiven, it's a pretty one. Happy with that. I haven't had very, very many buttons in here. Cool. Well, another hole. This one. It was quite deep, it was right down the bottom of there. And it's a pen knife for what's left of one. Not much left of it, but yeah, it's a relic. Cool. On to another one. Look at that solid 18, well 19. Solid 19. All right, let's get it out. All right, solid 19, and I'm in quite a good spot, so I thought it's worth a live dig. Might be rubbish, but it always might not. You just never ever know. That's the thing everybody's got to love about detecting. Well, I can see there's definitely some dark soil there. Yeah, right there. All right, what we're we going to have? Oh, no idea so far. Is it a coin? No, it's got to be a button, isn't it? Yeah, I think I can see a shank. Can I? Oh, I can't even get the mud off this side. Yep. There's a squashed shank. But the shank is there. Yeah, cool. Nice gold gilt button. Right, I kid you not, I think I'm onto a hammered. <laughs> oh, these days, isn't metal detecting a strange hobby? You can think you're absolutely doomed for the entire day and find nothing but absolute cack. And then you get a, a 13, which was quite iffy. It was an iffy 13, but it was solid 13. It was just iffy. It was here, there and everywhere breaking up. But it was a 13. And can you see it? See if you can see what could be a hammered in the hole. Almost dead centre. Right there. I have not touched it, but I've looked down closely and it looks like a hammered. Right, I'm gonna take a photo and then get it out. Right, I've taken a photo, it's right there. Do you know what, I think I might even take my gloves off for this, because it looks like a really small one. Is it gonna be a little penny? There we go, there's the imprint. Do you know what, I can actually think, I can see a ring and a cross on that. I think it could be an old penny. Oh, yes. Oh. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I think I can see EDWs. I think it's an Edward. And it's a Penny. Oh, I'm so over the moon. Have a butcher's at that. What an absolute little beauty. Look at that. I am over the moon. That has made my day. All right, look at that. Solid 24. That one is definitely coming out of the ground. Got to see what that is. All right. 23, 24. 
I'm going to put my neck out and say coin. But I bet it's not because I'm never right. Every time I say it's going to be a coin, it never is. Be nice though. Still solid 23, 24. What is that? Is that a button? That looks like it could be a nice button instead. Right. Is it going to be a general service? Oh, it's complete. That's a good start. I think I could just see the lion then. Yeah, there you go. Not quite clean, but it's a general service. World War II military button. Happy with that, getting a nice array of stuff today. I'm getting quite a nice selection of finds today. I'm quite happy. Just out of the plug here, I had that there. And it's a thimble. Little complete copper thimble. But right next to it, I had that. Which is a big lump of iron. So it picked that, oh, picked that thimble up right next to that chunk of iron. And I'm happy with that. Yeah, really nice selection of finds today. All right, we are back with another one. Right down in that bottom corner. Couldn't find it to begin with. I dug a fair bit out. And it looks like a button. Oh, it's got the shank. Is it going to be a livery? Oh, I think it is. Oh, look at that. It's like a ostrich type bird or something. Peacock or something. That's gorgeous. I don't think I've ever had one like that. And that'll probably clean up nice because there's a lot of the silver in still on it. Chuffed with that. so much for watching this episode i had an absolutely great day had my hammered those amazing coins but my battery is about to die but thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time cheers